folks, last time a trailer dropped for Ryan Johnson's Looper, I revisited his debut film, Brick. Now with another trailer out, which you can find below in the description box, I take a look at Johnson's second feature, The Brothers Bloom. The film follows two brothers, Bloom played by Adrian Brody and his older brother Stephen played by Mark Ruffalo, who were con artists since they were kids. Now 35, Bloom wants to quit the lifestyle and find his own identity and life and not the one his brother has written for him. However, Stephen convinces him to perform one last job to acquire all the wealth that they will need. The mark is Penelope Stamp, a rich, socially isolated New Jersey Harris, daughter of a previous target. After staging an accident, Bloom and Penelope connect, and she soon accompanies Bloom to Greece, where through some manipulation by Stephen, they are revealed as smugglers and not as con artists to Penelope, promising an exciting adventure for her for once in her lifetime. It seems too good to be true, but if this con is to be successful, Stephen warns Bloom of one thing. Don't fall in love with her. While it's no brick, The Brothers Bloom is a strong sophomore effort and I enjoyed it much more the second time around. It's difficult to say if the whole film was a con and if it is, it's certainly one elaborate one and for many it won't work. But here as opposed to say brick, there's a stronger focus on characters than plot so you can forgive it for all of its far-fetched qualities. While Ruffo was originally up for the role of Bloom, the role better suited Brody as the younger brother who used cons to build his confidence but now has found it to be a pathetic and lonely existence where his brother writes his life for him. The character has been doing this for so long he's lost a grip on what is reality and what is a con. He finds the sole main Penelope, a woman restricted to her house for most of her life, picking up hobbies to fill the void of having no identity, similar to Bloom, but for different reasons. Sad while equally funny, Weiss gives a very different performance than most of her other work. Perhaps the most interesting character is Steven, played effortlessly by Ruffalo, wanting a con scam so perfect it would become the truth. Contrary to what Bloom might believe, Steven wants the best for his brother. Riku Kuchi is hilarious as Bang Bang, a Japanese explosive expert who tags along with the Brothers Bloom. Veterans like Robbie Coltrane and Maximilian Schell show up briefly as a Belgian friend of the Brothers Bloom and Diamond Dog, Steven's former mentor and enemy. Some of Jonathan's regulars show up like Nora Zahitaner, Noah Sagan, and a cameo by Joseph Gordon-Levitt where if you blink you miss it. The film is beautifully shot in various locations like Montenegro, Greece, and Romania and it has a very breezy, funny, charming vibe. When the film feels like it's running out of steam towards the second half, it picks up its momentum and the wheels are back in motion. Johnson's first two features are nothing alike and Looper looks like it will follow, but if you haven't seen Johnson's second effort yet, I highly recommend it. That's it for the movie one. Have a good day, folks. Until next time.